you can always look at it like a good thing. Like you have the two options. You can get out of a relationship and be like, forget him. He sucked. He did all these things to me. And I feel like when we're in a place of pain, that's a really easy place to go to. Hey, my little love bugs. I am Tosh Point Fro, and this is my eating show. And if you are new, welcome to your daily dose of positive vibes. Uh, ooh, if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe. Well, if you're new, make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you know when I post a new video, which I'm gonna make 6 p.m. I've, I've decided, Central Standard Time, 6 p.m. So today, we got a de-shelled seafood boil. Ooh. <laughs> I got this idea from Flavors by Dame Dash. And he pretty much did a deconstruct, or not deconstructed, de-shelled seafood boil and Alfredo sauce. I got corn, I got shrimp, I got king crab just all floating around and all of this. So let's say our little prayer and then get to it. God is great. God is good. Thank you for our food. Amen. My mom always makes fun of me because I still say that one. I just, you know, short and sweet. This is, oh no, we got to go extravagant. We got to, yeah. Oh, it's so hot. Ooh. Mm. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Dame and the gang know what they doing. Ooh, y'all. Y'all, today we're talking about relationships. Because I have been getting a lot of DMs. Oh yeah, there's shrimp in here too. I wonder if I can find them. Oh, here's shrimp. Here's a little shrimp with some mozzarella. I like the charred mozzarella. Um, I've been getting a lot of DMs about relationships and like girls going through breakups. This is so good. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Especially with that mozzarella on it. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. So, a lot of you guys have been writing me about just kind of feeling lonely going into the new year. And wanted to talk about, you know, like, well, different aspects of it. Some people are getting out of relationships that they don't need to be in. I've had one girl hit me up. She was in a relationship where she really wanted to be in it with the guy, but he just kind of pulled back. And another chick got cheated on. <sighs> Y'all. It sucks. But getting out of a relationship, you can look at it one of two ways. You can look at it like it's opportunity, or you can look at it like it's a bad, you know, the end of your life. Oh God, I hope this isn't too hot. And you really should look at it as opportunity. Like, don't get me wrong. It sucks because you're getting out of the habits. You're getting out of the habits that you have formed with this other person and the comfort that what they were providing you. And y'all know, like, I've been through my divorce within the last, what, two years. See, that was two, three years ago? Three years ago? I don't even know no more. And then 
I was in a relationship and like it does suck when it ends because you are out of your routine and you got to form a new routine, right? Eat this, you'll feel better. <laughs> no, baby. Or some shrimp. Oh, here's one. But you also, you can always look at it like a good thing. Like you have the two options. You can get out of a relationship and be like, forget him. He sucked. He did all these things to me. And I feel like when we're in a place of pain, that's a really easy place to go to. It's really easy to just want to blame somebody, right? And be the victim. But what I think you should do is look back at that relationship. Look at the lessons that were given to you during that relationship. And really spend time working on yourself. Because, and be grateful for it. Like, it was good while it lasted. It, it was good while it lasted. And then it didn't last anymore for whatever reason. And may, could there have been things that could have been done differently to change it? Probably. But, excuse me, can something that's meant for you ever be taken from you? No, it cannot. So. Oh, no. <laughs> the best thing you can do. Just work on yourself. Cause trust me, baby. If somebody wants you bad enough, they will fight for you. And this might be more of a message to the ladies. But sweetie. Have you ever seen a dedicated man pursue a goal? They ain't stopping until they get it. Okay. So if you weren't that goal, you know, if you weren't that, that thing in their life, that doesn't say anything about you as a person. You haven't lost any value. You are still beautiful. You are still wanted. You are still loved. You might not be loved by him. <laughs> Harsh, harsh truths, harsh truths. But you're no less. And the importance of feeding into yourself, especially after you go through a breakup, is understanding that like you aren't any less important, you aren't any less valuable. Uh, Especially, my fingers is all in the way. Especially right now that you are in such a vulnerable place. This is not the time to be looking for outside validation. This is the time to be looking inside yourself and validating yourself. And knowing that you're great. And knowing that somebody's going to find that greatness. And they're going to cherish it. It, and it wasn't the person that you thought this time. I thought I had something on my face. But that's okay. Like, and especially I think the new year is really, I think, what triggered all this. Y'all, I entered the new year alone. <laughs> and it does not always feel awesome when you're on Instagram or something and you see... Sorry, I'm, I'm back on track. Oh my God. Dang. Oh my God. Dang, you trying to be my man soon? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. Dang, probably got a girlfriend or something. I don't even know. But, um, it doesn't always feel good 
when you see like these Instagram relationships or you see like your favorite YouTuber couple or like all these outside things that make you kind of want to compare where you where you are in your life to where somebody else is. But I'm telling y'all, comparison is the killer of joy. You cannot compare your life to other people's. You gotta know how special you are, baby. No shrimp, cause you're special. There you go, baby. It's okay. I know. And do what you gotta do to get through it. Just don't stalk him. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> but take that time to work on yourself. Because as you elevate yourself, as you continue to elevate yourself, you are gonna vibrate higher you see that? You see all that sexy drip, drip? Woo! You're going to vibrate higher and you're going to attract the right things. And maybe that's not a man right now. That was so good. Oh my God. Y'all, I'm telling you, the toasted cheese. The toasted cheese. So like, toast your cheese, baby, move on. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, it's okay. I know it sucks. I know, I know it hurts. I've been through heartbreak. I've been through the insecurity that can that can come from heartbreak. Excuse me. And I've overcome heartbreak. And you can surely overcome it, sweetie. You can most, excuse me, certainly, certainly overcome it and move on. To being in a happy place like I am with this shrimp. Hey girl. That's how that's how the right one gonna come at you. He's gonna be like, Hey girl, I see you over there looking all valuable. I wanna look valuable with you. I got all this to offer. And y'all gonna be good. But in the meantime, focus on yourself. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, well, what does that mean? I don't know how to focus on myself. It's a day-by-day -day process. Pick a hobby. Pick a pick a new venture for yourself. And I would suggest a hobby. Like I started my YouTube channel. Um, you could start working out. You could take yoga class. Y'all know I'm about to learn how to scuba dive. You can learn a new language. Do something that's gonna feed you. Feed this. You can't see my chest, but yeah. <laughs> Do something that's gonna feed you inside because that is what, that's where your focus needs to be. It doesn't need to be on somebody else. Doesn't need to be on what you didn't get, how he didn't he didn't reciprocate your love. Sis, I know, I know, baby, I know. Give me a hug. I know, baby. It does suck. But if you spend your time working. If you spend your time working on yourself, like I'm working on these shrimp, it's going to work out better for you and the next person that, that comes into your life. 
because they're going to see you as so much more valuable. Because when you do meet another man, you don't want him to see you as broken. You don't want him to, to look at him. You don't want him to look at you like damaged goods, which I mean, that's such a harsh statement. But like, think about it, sis. If you ain't did your hair in six days and you just out here like first date with the new dude, you complaining about what your ex did. Like, no, 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 never do that. Just let them, you know, when they ask you why your last relationship ended, just, you know, say it was great while it lasted but we had different ideas on what we wanted out of a relationship so we decided that it shouldn't proceed leave it at that and then be like what about that toasted mozzarella though <laughs> and just take it day by day some days will be harder than others but it'll get easier every day. Oh my God, this is so good. <laughs> look at my face. I look like I'm coming out of the bowl. <laughs> and um, what else was I gonna say? There's something else I was gonna say about relationships. Honestly, I just think the most important thing is to use the time to worry about you instead of potentially worrying about what he doing because that's where a lot of and i am guilty of it okay let me tell you i am guilty of having looked at a facebook page that i shouldn't have been looking at or something oh my god there was this one dude i'm telling you i dated this guy when i was um 20 i don't know how old i was when i dated him but I liked him a lot. Like, I was just kind of in that vulnerable place. And see, that's the danger. You can't, if you're in a vulnerable place where you don't feel complete, a man can come into your life and kind of prey on that and, and be whatever you want him to be so that he can get to you faster, get to you a little faster. No, sis, no. <laughs> don't, you got, that's why you work on yourself. Cause I, I remember I just I like this guy so much and we went um we went to a skating we would always go skating together and like I was terrible at skating but he was great at skating so he had me all thinking I was cute because he was just dragging me along when he did cool things and I was like I can't do any of these cool things but he can and he's fine <laughs> like but oh my god there's so much butter oh look at that. Look at all that butter. Ooh, yes. I'm going to save that for some crab legs later. No, but anyways. Um, I come to find out, and thank God I didn't get all invested in this relationship. This man lied about his whole life. Like, he lied about everything. The only thing I think he was good at was skating. So... <laughs> but, I mean, obviously this was years and years and years and years and years ago. But I couldn't believe it, you know? I couldn't believe that somebody could lie about their entire life and like, how dare you? I deserve the truth, girl. Go on, move on with your life. Cause I sure did, I looked at his, and see, he he didn't have like an Instagram or anything like that. Um, I think that might've even been before Instagram was big, but he had like a Facebook. And so like, I just remember, but he never posted on it. And I remember going to look at his Facebook to see if he had posted it. And the girl, he didn't post nothing. And that's okay. Like, move on. You got to move on, baby. You got to move on. You can't sit and dwell. Mm. You can't look at his Facebook, his Instagram, his Twitters. None of that. You got to completely detach. I'll block you for like... I'm not going to lie, baby. You get blocked for a good 48 hours. Just give me some space. Give me some space. It's not even like I'm blocking you because I'm just so mad at you. I'm blocking you because mentally I need a break. I need a break. If you do contact me, I, I don't need to get that right now because we went through some things and I'm trying to detach from you. And also trust and believe, baby girl. Like I said, it's hard to be the man that never quits. So if he wants you bad enough, if he's looking at you like, oh my God, this is my wife. I, I messed up. I made the wrong decision. Blah, 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 blah. 
that little two days of him being blocked is not going to stop him. He is not going to change his mind. No man is about to give up on what he wants that fast. But if he did give up, you got to accept it. But relationships are about give and take. And if y'all couldn't work out the give and take in that relationship, then take your butt home. <laughs> take your butt home. Read a book. Do yoga. Do something for you. And remember how loved you are. Maybe not by him. But you are loved. Mm. I wish I could see how close Jojo was. Get back. You literally, you didn't even move a whole, you moved like three inches. He's a monster. Mm. This is so good. So just remember, ladies, it might not have worked out, but that's okay. You might have even done some wrong stuff. Sis, it could have been you. It could have been you. I'm sorry. It could have been. Maybe you, you might have been too clingy for him, for his particular taste. Maybe you got to go find a man that wants a little bit more clingy of a woman. Could have been more too distant. But the time that you take away from the situation is the time where you can reflect and kind of navigate, you know, what was right, what was wrong. And then just take that to your next situation. Take that to your next steps of life. Excuse me. Mm. This one's good, y'all. Ooh, I'm full, but I really don't want to stop eating. Yeah. I don't want to stop, but I'm really full. Oh, this sucks. But yeah, um, I hope that helped. I know I, I was pretty broad when I talked about relationships because I wasn't trying to get into anybody's particular situation, but these are just my opinions. So with some lint. Um, these are just my opinions on relationships and kind of how to get how to get through them. Obviously, like, you know, if a guy cheats on you or if a dude throws you in the trash, throws you in the trash, like he don't care about you no more. Honey, move on because this is the harsh truth. But like nobody goes back to the trash and picks up tra picks trash up out the garbage can like he doesn't value you. Just move on with your life because you're going to be in a much better place once you let him go. And remember that that has, that says absolutely nothing about your value. That says everything about where he is in his life and what he wants in life and nothing wrong with him wanting that in life. It's just be thankful that you got out before you could have gotten hurt even more. So on that note, Honestly, honey, I know a lot of people going through it right now. This new year has just got folks. Ooh, but especially, y'all, remember, bad things got left in 2019. Hello, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It might feel bad right now, but that doesn't mean it's necessarily permanently a bad thing. So 
just remember that if you need to come back to this video to hear these words to get that encouragement please come back play it again we could throw down on this food and i will tell you all over again how special you are how loved you are with that love always has to start from within and once you start it from within you'll start vibrating higher and you'll start attracting those good vibes and hopefully those good men okay the burp didn't want to come out um if you do have any particular questions comment them down below subscribe like you know you like this share this video with your girlfriend that you know is going through it right now because clearly this baby needs to sit have a meal with me and we need to talk and i love you guys <laughs> until we eat again bye i want to do this like on um little rascals bye <laughs>